Can you read this for me? Charlie, would you like me reading this for me? Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and he uh, rejoined one reigned. year. Reigned. Reigned. Reigned one year. I thought English was you guys' language, man. No, I, That's all right. Reigned one year in Jerusalem. Yes. His mother's name was Athaliah, the yeah. granddaughter of Umri. I'm reading upside down. Okay, now. Uh, you're gonna go to where he says he's 44? No, I'm gonna go where he's 42. 42. <laughs> go ahead. Close enough. As, um, as he was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was? Um, Athaliah, the Athaliah. granddaughter of Umri. Yeah. So how could he be 22 and 42? Okay, so it goes back to the history of the manuscript. So okay. From my understanding, I'm not saying this is the right answer. So you believe in this book and you're not yeah. sure what it, what, no, if it's right I'm, or wrong? I'm saying from my understanding, because okay. we're not perfect. You admit that you not can Not perfect more. at all, of course. You can learn more and you might make I could, understand. I could. Okay, so from my understanding is when the manuscripts were written down, right? Uh, and it was written down over and over again. We got loads, thousands, tens of thousands of manuscripts, right? Keep coming. Um, when they copied it down, ah. from my understanding is that when they copied it down... The words of God. The words of God, 100%. Um, they, some of them have... Um, Errors? Translated it wrong. Oh, so from, what's your name again? Charlie. Charlie is saying, it. hold on. Translated. Charlie's saying that from people writing down the Bible, they made translation, transcript errors that were then printed and passed out in every Bible that we get, which clearly contradict each other numerically between 22 and 42. Okay, how many of these errors were made? Well, I can show you, right? I how how you. many of these errors were made? Uh, I can give you how many of them were made. Hundreds, thousands, tens? Um, I think it's mainly to do with the um, no, I don't think it's hundreds of thousands. You don't think so? So do you know how many? Uh, I think it's like less than 20. Where did you get that number from? Where did you get this number from? Don't uh, try to jump now. You're going to get back to your research. That, that's going. But so don't try to run. For, this is why this is kryptonite for you. Is that kryptonite? This, this is, it is. Yeah. Because you just made up a number. I didn't make up a number. You time. didn't make up a number. Yeah. Charlie, don't lie. Did I say exactly Charlie, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> Where did you get that number from? Where did you get that one? From reading the Bible. And you, you found 20 errors. I found uh, the age differences, so I looked them up. Uh huh. Uh, I looked at the manuscripts, right? Okay. Uh, I looked at the original language, and then that's what I came to conclude. So one thing we on. agree now is the Bible has errors. No. You just said it. <laughs> Transcription believe, errors. I believe that the translations could be incorrect, but I'm not 100% certain. Again, Charlie, 22 and 42 is not a translation issue. They're two different numbers. Of course it's I not, agree. look, look, we speak English in different ways. Yeah. If I said 22, or yeah. if I said 22, yeah. would that be a different number? <laughs> no. If I said 22, and I said 42, yeah. is that a different translation or a different number? Different number. That clearly contradicts. So, hold on, hold on. Can I be 22 and 42? No, you cannot be. So that means a contradiction. No. Please. So if I write down 22, okay, and it's on some old piece of paper, okay, and you saw it, right? Uh huh. But you thought it was 42. Excellent. And you write down 42. That's an error. That is what. The the error. Error. That, listen, listen, Charlie. Don't lie. God Charlie. sees you, huh? Yeah, but let me. Explain. Charlie, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let, let, me let, let me just in your own example. You go to give a test. Yes. In your schools in the UK. Yes. And the answer is 22, yeah. and you wrote 42, <laughs> and the teacher read clearly 42. Yeah. Would she give you the marks? No. Thank you. <laughs> One. Thank you. Why would she not give you the marks, Charlie? That's not this. Why would she not give you the marks? You can't compare. That. Why would she not give you the marks? You cannot compare. Excuse that. me, Charlie. Let me just finish. Why would she not give you the marks? She would tell you 42 is the incorrect answer. It's an error. She wouldn't tell you it's translation. She wouldn't tell you close enough. She would tell you this is wrong. You sure? Your answer was 22. So if you cannot be 22 and 42 at, one, at the same time, then one of them is an error. And you have here admitted, whether you want to admit it or not, that the Bible has error. <laughs>